can't hear. I look around in the shadows and see her shoes on the floor, a broom, and a small scroll box. Inside is a valuation certificate, authenticating a scroll it says is worth more than two million yuan. The scroll is one of Mao's poems in his brush calligraphy, Ode to the Plum Blossom, a dedication to Xiang. Is this the Mao material that the Beijing government is so concerned about? It might lead to speculation, but no kind of disaster. I don't understand. Why haven't you put up the scroll I bought you? It was only yesterday. I haven't had time. I wrote the poem for you years ago. Now I finally got it back. This man got Jiao the scroll? I paid a high price. Who is he? I can't see. There's something about his voice I recognize, but not the accent. It's from Hunan, like Mao's. You've got something on your mind. Talk to me. I have overcome so much, sweeping away all my enemies like rolling up a mat. Let's forget our worries in the cloud and rain. Whatever you say, Chairman. <clears throat> Chairman? Because he is a big buck, or... Is she imitating Shang? Is he imitating Mao? Is that not his real accent? It's hot in the closet. I can hardly breathe. I need to get out. They mightn't even see me, lost in their rapture, their game. Stands a pine, sturdy, erect. Come on, Chairman. You can do it. What a fairy cave it is, born out of nature. Ineffable. Ineffable. A great pine. A broken one. Sapless. Lifeless. So I have things on my mind after all. Keep going. I can't. Not with you quoting him all the time. I'm sick and tired of it. You only want me because of who my grandmother was. I have a lot on my mind. I'm going to eat. No, you're not. <laughs> Get back here. Let me tell you what's on my mind. I saw your Mr. Chen at a cocktail party this afternoon. So what? I told you, he has business connections. He's a nice man. Why is he so nice to you? Why is she so nice to you? There's nothing going on between us. I went there because you wanted me to paint, just like Shan. You're so jealous. I'll stop.